Energy Stadium, Philadelphia, on the banks of the Delaware. It's a beautiful day for rugby. A little bit of cloud cover, keeping the temps down. Gareth almost wants to make, make you put your boots on again. Yeah, these guys are having fun. Great first quarter final. This one's four seed versus five seed. Well, we've mentioned bench depth. And edge to Lindenwood here. This first seven, though, for Iona, they were all here yesterday, or last year, I should say. Yeah. There was a good look at the bald head of head coach Paul Enright for Iona. Oh, what a start and a kick for Lindenwood. So LT and Tyron Aljabori go back for the ball and win it for Lindenwood off the kick. Restart's so important. You are a specialist in the air, Colin Hawley. How much does that do for your team when you know you can win your own ball back? It has to start with the kickoff. It's such a pivotal point of maintaining possession in this game. You get that ball back and you starve the other team of possession, not much you can do. So LT opts to pass to Al Jabori on the corner. Now LT back inside. Jack Desmond scored a bunch of nice tries yesterday for the Lions out of St. Charles, Missouri. They got numbers here. Out well, to the corner. Did. Spangenberg <laughs> says Whoa. can't find the grip. Almost forward. Yes, it was indeed. And so Evan Williams gets the pass, but it's just drifted forward. So Iona withstands the first possession from last year's champion. Yeah, you see him signaling there. Just a skill breakdown. Those passes didn't go to hand, so that killed the momentum. And then when he looked to come back on short side, his Lindenwood teammates hadn't got back deep enough. So a good opportunity for Iona. And how about this kid, Connor Buckley, with the ball in hand? He's been good for Iona. Fine. Very Set. competent scrum half. Buckley. Out wide. And there is Buckley trying to get something going. Here comes the defense of Lindenwood. Lots of pressure from the men in black. Iona retains possession out wide. Mike Scarcella goes to work with Santiago Moscolo. And we talked a lot about defense. Pool play, Gareth, I, this Iona team only allowed 12 points. Yeah, no, that's not a belief. Oh, oh, no. Look at that, Michael Morrow. Can't find the offload. Oh, out. But a good job of getting there by Scarcella. And now out wide in the hands of Buckley. Help on the corner from Felicitonga. But he won't need it inside the Giorgio. Uh-oh, ball's got to go. Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. And that is Santiago Mascolo. <laughs> He's going to do it on his own. He reaches out, scores a try. Well, credit Buckley for redirecting the attack. He saw nothing was on on the left side. See, he goes left. This is the breakout. Really good awareness. Probably his teammates needed to get to him quicker. They know he's not going to be able to finish from that kind of distance. A little bit of an awkward tackle here, but he's okay. He's the big man, Morrow. Yeah, and here's the try coming in from the middle. Just a nice break, committing a couple of tacklers in the gap in the middle of the field. And look at this leg drive. He will not be denied. Diving over the line, stretching the big body out there. But it was the composure of Iona playing through the phases. Support was there, moving it back, and finding the gap in the middle. That got the first try against last year's champs. What a start from Iona. And we talk about the attrition on day two. It looks like Evan Williams coming off for Lindenwood with a bit of a shoulder injury. He'll sit down and be replaced by Rodriguez. There's Christian Rodriguez. A good look at the All-American, wearing the number nine for Lindenwood. He's got feet like DeMonte Noble from Kutztown. <laughs> That's the new standard, eh? Exactly. It's going to be a penalty for not getting back, coming in from your own side of the ruck. And going quickly, number four, Jack Desmond. Oh. Over the ball quickly. Oh, oh a knock top. on and a gift. Here comes advantage. Got to use it. Iona, two men on the outside. The dummy. Oh, the ball it. dropped. Somehow goes backwards off Iona. Connor Buckley says, all right, boys, let's chill it out for just a minute. Goes back to the blind. There's five on three. And there is Felicitonga, but doesn't oh, have the pace hit. and a great hit. 
in the corner by number nine, Christian Rodriguez. Well, credit Lindenwood for getting the defense back over there. They were really slow to realign, but they did get two bodies over there to put the big tackle in. And Colin, you were on the wing for many years. You gotta be taught to take that hard step back inside off the touchline. Well, you can't get pushed out. The way we talked about going out of bounds as a winger is you're just falling off the cliff. It's just a turnover. You gotta take that hard left plant foot, push off the side and really drive your body into the guy's belly button. Iona not done though. There is Scarcella. Buckley digs it out, finds Powers. Oh, and the forecast of the kick pass coming. Feliki Tonga, will he get a kind hop? Oh. No, it looks like carried over as well. White scrum. So a scrum to Iona. That's a brilliant outcome for what could have been a waste of possession. So what we're looking for there, if that ball had gone over the white line and then touched down by Black, then they get a 22, but it was carried over, so big scrum. And there is Kutz down through in dramatic fashion. These two fighting to go up against them. When you want to talk dramatic fashion, how about if Iona unseats last year's champion? Yeah. A lot of rugby left to play. Let's play. What we don't, said in don't the beginning. To, don't want to jinx the gales. What we Crunch. said at the beginning, the competition is fierce. It yeah. is absolutely anybody's Fine. game. Iona up 7-0 with a minute left to play in this Fine. first half with a five-meter scrum. The tournament is fierce. And you got to say they're looking sharper than Lindenwood at the moment. They're looking more like a team. And this man's doing damage, Mara, right to the middle. Space. Oh. Does it open up? No, nope. closes down quickly in the form of number 12, Marnus Spangenberg. On the corner. Oh, oh Felicitonga gives it, it away. Unfortunate. Iona had done everything right to get the ball down to the five-meter line. Just as we were singing their praises, working yeah. well as a team. They have this great attacking platform, five-meter scrum, work, work their tails off to get down there, and Lindenwood getting out of jail free. Now they got to go 95 across the other way, get out of trouble themselves. But still, Iona looking Black strong please. in this first half. They come away Crunch. with seven-point advantage. Huge Fine. victory yeah. going into the second half. Lindenwood will try and change that now. Ten seconds to play. That's more than enough in sevens. Yep, you got to go nine meters per second if you are... Lindenwood, and this uh -oh. might just be the case. Over the shoulder tackle, penalty. So, Rodriguez going quickly. Out to the corner. Out of the hands of LT. And then Tyron Algebori bundled oh, wow. into touch. Iona going to wow. go to the half with a seven-point lead. Can they hang on? We will find out when we come back for the second half of the second cup quarterfinal. Gangs are forming to liberate tacos from Tuesday. So whether your gang is crunchy, soft, or straight up locos, it's time to come together and fight for tacos any night. Are they dance fighting? Taco Bell Party Packs. Order ahead or get it delivered for your gang on TacoBell.com. This season, T-Mobile is partnering with Little League to make sure every kid can feel like an all-star. With T-Mobile, parents across the country can share the action. The highlights and the lowlights. And the stars of tomorrow get a chance to shine today. From Little League to the big leagues, T-Mobile has you covered. Now connecting 99% of baseball fans. T-Mobile. You know commitment. You know preparation. You know the game plan. You know exhilaration. You know rugby. And when you want to try something new, when the unexpected happens, when you want to move on up, and when you're ready to retire, we'll be there because we know life. The Penn Mutual Life Insurance Company, your game plan for insuring life. Back in Philly for Men's Cup quarterfinal number two. The winner to face Kutztown in the semifinal. Iona with a seven-point lead. Really comfortable with a lead like seven points against Lindenwood, who is the defending champion from last year. Good look at Paul Enright. <laughs> Does he look comfortable? Coach. He doesn't look comfortable. 
One of the great stories about this Iona team is one of their alumni, Pat Quinn, who was one of the founders of the Ice Bucket Challenge with ALS. They've raised $220 million for ALS research. And Pat Quinn is a friend of the team. They, coach told me they spend every oh, wow. week they go to his house and visit. And he's been an absolute inspiration on the sidelines here this week to watch his Iona Gales. And they got to be doing him proud. Well, they're being inspired right now. And that uh, fits right in with Look the, team, the hits team of the tournament. Iona's defensive pressure is unrelenting. Well, you can't dive on a man on the ground. Number one. Uh-oh, go to the pocket. Deliberate knock on first, though, from wow. Santiago Mascolo, the wow. try scorer. So that is a tough two-minute penalty. Mascolo will sit down. Lorenzo Thomas trying to make quick work of the advantage. Well, this is the door opening that Lindenwood needed. Seven on six for two minutes. Let me ref the match. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you love when the ref takes over. Hey, shut your pie hole. <laughs> I got this thing. Easy there, young fella. Christian Rodriguez, great steps, as I've mentioned before. Out to number five. That's Sam Chapman. Tyron Aljabori feeds the big man. And he goes to work. Oh, gets wow. through two tacklers. Gets through. Well, the offload is clean. Rodriguez in support. One more pass. Will this end up in a try? Oh, the tackle missed by number five, John Powers. And so a score. Lindenwood finally answers back. Well, for me, this is about Lorenzo Thomas making the right decision. He knew they were one short in defense. Just keep that ball alive. Don't risk a 50-50 pass. Once it goes through the hands, they're just overstretched the Ione defense. On that try from Sam Chapman, the first score that Iona has allowed in the last six halves of rugby. Defense wins championships, Colin. It's keeping them in the hunt here. Important conversion to come. It was just a little bit of ill discipline by Iona. A couple penalties, the yellow card. Sneaks it in on the conversion to keep it level scores. Clutch two-pointer from Christian Rodriguez. So. All square here with four and some change left in the second semifinal. Free kick in front of the kicker, says the referee. Ooh, that's a big penalty for yeah. Lindenwood. So no different than uh, foot American football. you got to be behind the kicker when it's kicked. The big man Wesley White on the outside coming in. He's a big danger man for Lindenwood. He's been sitting down looking to get some action, but got to get the ball back from Iona. Okay. They've been pretty great in terms of ball possession, keeping keeping the pill away. And they're going to be able to get their player back on the field as well. So a wow. huge mistake by wow. Lindenwood. Wow. One of the best players for this Iona Gale squad, wearing the number one jersey, the try scorer, Santiago Mascolo. There's Feliki Tonga. Out to Buckley. There is the well-rested Mascolo. Out to Scarcella. Scarcella bottled up nicely by oh, Tyron Algebori. And a great oh, a work skill. on the ground by Lorenzo Thomas, LT, putting in the dirty work. That's a championship play right there, getting over the top. We talked about working in groups of three. Support just too late for Iona. Connor Burns dishes oh. to Christian Rodriguez. Trouble, second score in six halves now from Iona. And have Lindenwood found the keys to the floodgates. Well, I'll tell you, one of the keys, steal the ball off the opposition. This was after Lorenzo Thomas had stolen it. Good ball in two hands, and the one-on-one, -on -one, that's good all day for Christian Rodriguez. He does be kept out wide, though, so the conversion's going to be harder. That's after the steal. I did my work. Now, quickly tap and go. Let's find the holes in this defense. There's just great presence of mind as well, looking out to the outside, coming back to where his support was, and the gas to get it done on the corner. That's the vision a championship team needs to take advantage of the turnover, hit on the gas, then get the score, and they're back in front of this match. Can they make it a seven-point advantage? No, just the five. Rodriguez kicks the ball towards New Jersey instead of the posts. I'm told I, he kicks it toward Delaware. Yeah. Our, our stats man, Mike Shute, keeping me honest here.
All right, Lindenwood, importantly, receives its own kickoff. Getting up with the ball. So he so, was tackled. The referee's going to say because the tackle was completed, he can't stand up. He has to release that ball. Good look at Santiago Mascolo and spent some time in the sin bin. And with only a five-point deficit, this yeah. team from Iona can score. They're very composed. They know their structure. They understand it well. They lost their shape a little bit there in defense, and then that kickoff, that was a crucial error. But now they got the ball back. They're going to try and gain some territory with the kick, but he shanked oh, it. Oh, no, big mistake. He shanked it. Why in the world would he go for distance? Nobody interested in going in to poach the ball. Interesting option from Iona. They stay out of the ruck. Here comes the defense up hard. Good gamble. Got to make something happen yeah, here if you're yeah. Iona. There it is. Oh, they, there it is. Great job in the tackle. There, Mike Morrow. Oh. Up hard comes the defense of Lindenwood. Oh, no. They're saying the clean out was on the neck. Neck roll. The, neck in the, the big man. Wesley White, Christian Rodriguez, look forward to yeah, me, but not there. to the refs. <laughs> and White wow. regathers, and he'll score, and this will be the dagger <laughs> to keep Lindenwood in the hunt. Well, two big refereeing calls completely killed the momentum for the Gales, and Lindenwood are subdued happy. I think they know they've dodged a bullet here. This was the final pass that looked well forward. Not called, so try to Lindenwood. Ten. Yeah, Lindenwood doing a good job here, just getting the ball out to the corner. That's a speculative pass, but play on, says the referee. Lindenwood getting the skills and the support from the inside from Big Wesley White, the substitute in the second half, adding some fresh legs and getting last year's champions through to the semis. Kick to come. It's all academic, though. Won't matter. So zero's on the clock. This is just a formality for Christian Rodriguez and a deflated Iona team. Seven point lead at the half and 19 unanswered points from the defending champs. First arriver. But I mean, you gotta think not pretty from Lindenwood, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what you need to do to get each victory on yep. the day, advance it. So as long as you get the W, keep on playing in this tournament, Lindenwood's gotta be happy. Uh, Felicitanga puts it on the ground. That'll end the match. Well, oh hearts God. broken Full time. at Iona. They represented their school well here in Philly, but it'll be Lindenwood moving on. Relief on the face of Josh Macy. We'll be back for the third quarter final.